in this one, I'm giving you my top five tips for scuba diving travel. What up, squad? Welcome back. And if you're new, I'm Bobby Hernandez, helping you go on awesome underwater adventures. And in this one, we're talking about my top five tips on scuba diving travel. And if you stay to the end, there's a bonus tip that I do on every trip, regardless on what type of trip it is, that I take it with me. So stay to the end to check that out. All right, so before I went to Mexico, I had all kinds of crazy questions going through my head. So here are these tips to help you so you don't have to be like me. All right, tip number one. Research your dive destination. Make sure you know what type of diving it is. If it's beach, if it's boat, what type of equipment you need. Um, because that's going to dictate on what you're going to bring with you. So that brings me to tip number two. Tip number two is to bring your gear or to rent your gear. If you own your own equipment, pfft, you're bringing your own gear makes all sense you dive it you know it you service it it's yours yes bring it so that being said bring it if you don't have it rent it they have everything at all these dive operations and you'll be good to go but if you own it bring it which brings me to tip number three luggage size all right so Run out to your garage or wherever you keep your your gear and go grab your fin. See if it fits in your current luggage that you got. If not, you might have to go buy a new one or you can strap it to the outside. It's, it's up to you. But or you can leave them and rent and rent your fins. Uh it, it's up to you. Um if you don't want to pay to have them in in your luggage, uh or strap to the outside or whatever, you could rent it. Um, but luggage size, then don't be that guy or gal procrastinating to the last minute. That morning you have to get to the plane and be like, oh, none of my stuff fits. And you're like, oh no, don't be that person. So my next tip is medication. Make sure you have your medication with you. For me, I bring my medication, all of it. I just put it in my toiletry bag so I know I have an adequate amount while I'm on my trip. Um, that's what I was, that's why I'm saying medication. Make sure you bring enough and then have extra because you don't know what's going to happen in the trip because COVID, you might get stuck there for 14 days not knowing what you're going to do. You don't know what's going to happen these days. So just make sure you have enough medication. And this brings me to tip number five. Check the weather. Yes, the weather. The weather will ruin everything. Check the weather. Because you don't want to be that person that lands. Hey, I'm here. No one's in in town because they've all evacuated because of a hurricane. Just check the weather. And if you like this video, make sure you whack that like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're up on all the new con content. Drop a comment so it lets YouTube know that you like the, the content. And plus you get to communicate with me. Also, if you have any questions about any of the gear or anything I spoke about, about in this video, I got a link down in the description to everything that I use, period. And now, here's my bonus tip. Vacuum bags. But it's the one, no vacuum needed. It's like the big Ziploc bags, space saver bags. You stick all your stuff in there. You roll all the excess air out of it. Shrinks it down to like one third the size. Bam, you put that inside your suitcase now. Now, 
you have space for souvenirs for your significant other, they will thank me. All right, well, that's my top five with the extra bonus. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.